Welcome to our tutorial, Building Interactive Reports with List and Label. In this session, we will explore how you can use the interactive features of List and Label to efficiently build dynamic reports. From using expandable regions to integrating report parameters, we'll walk you through each step to improve your reporting processes. Let's start with building a simple report using the drag and drop functionality. Simply select multiple fields, such as company name, contact name, address, city, and country, and drag them into your report draft. Note that the order in which you drag the fields is important as they will appear in the report in that exact order. And just like that, we have created our first report. Now, we will show you how to effectively incorporate data from subtables. For example, take the order date, ship address, ship city, ship country, and ship date from the orders subtable. By dragging these fields from the 1 to n relationship, they will be automatically included in the report. When I preview it, I see my customers and their orders as a subreport. After adding the fields, you can further customize the report. Adjust the spacing, align elements, and use the preview to see the results directly. With list and label, you can also dynamically design the view using expandable regions. These expandable regions are found in the property list under Expandable Regions. Here, you can define areas that are initially hidden and can be expanded as needed, ideal for on-demand data display. By entering the first letters of the property name in the filter, you can quickly find this feature and add it to your report. In the preview, you can immediately see what is happening. First, I have my usual customer list, as we saw in the first step. But now, there are these handles that I can click on. The moment I click on one, the report is regenerated in the background and the customer's details are added. I can also expand several if I want to. The solution is designed to be as data efficient as possible. This means that we only navigate through the top level of the database. If we see that we need the subdata for a particular customer, we retrieve the subdata from the database at that moment, but only when necessary. For other customer data, we skip accordingly. We've made some improvements to how you view customer data, but you still see customers from all countries by default. If you prefer a more organized view, you might consider using a filter to specify which countries to include. This categorization by country represents the next level of organization for these customers. For instance, you could prioritize sorting by country. To do this, simply enter sort in the search field, find the sorting options similar to the expandable regions, and then open the drop-down menu to select your sorting preference. What's particularly useful is the option behind the dot 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 button, where you can layer multiple sorting criteria. You could, for example, choose to sort by country first and then by company name. Using Brazil for example, you can see that the customers are now sorted alphabetically, making the data more transparent and accessible. Creating separate lists for customers from each country, such as Argentina, Brazil, and others, using the sorting function would result in managing over 30 individual reports, which is highly time-consuming. Moreover, this method falls short when a customer requests combined data from multiple countries, like Brazil and France, because it necessitates the creation of a new report to meet their needs. To address this challenge, we need to enhance our data filtering capabilities. By introducing report parameters, we provide a flexible way to interact with the data and customize reports according to specific requirements. When creating the report parameter, a help message is displayed. This was implemented to address a common FAQ, users set up a report parameter and then wonder why their list isn't being filtered. The reason is that the report parameter can be used for various purposes beyond just filtering. For instance, it allows users to select different color schemes or define styles, as it can be applied to all formulas, not just in data filters. We installed this message box to remind users that the report parameter requires further action. You will see this in action soon. For now, let's click OK. Let's call the report parameter country. Instead of manually copying all fields from a list, I set it to automatically populate from the data source. By selecting our customer table, I configure it to display all countries where our customers are active and sort them by country. Additionally, I've enabled multiple selection for this parameter. Once configured, I click OK. 
and the preview shows a new drop-down at the top of the interface. This drop-down, which is also displayed on the web, allows you to select countries directly from our database. For better usability, we introduced a search bar in version 28 to search within the parameter values. For example, entering PO filters the list to show only Poland and Portugal. While this might seem unnecessary in a smaller list, it becomes essential for our customers who manage thousands of entries, allowing them to pre-filter the list effectively. That's why we introduced this feature in version 28. I confirm the selection with OK, and though we see Poland and Portugal in the drop-down, no actual filtering occurs. This is precisely what the earlier message box was indicating, that additional steps are necessary. Now, I need to properly set up the data filter. I go to the formula for the data filter and specify that I only want to see customers whose country field matches the report parameter. This ensures that the data displayed is consistent with the selections made. Two interesting aspects emerge here. First, the expressions can be directly translated into the database system's filter expressions, ensuring optimal speed. This is achieved through what we refer to as our native filter translations. I mentioned earlier that some of our customers work with several thousand parameter values. Consider the scenario where we have millions of customers, including just 10 from Liechtenstein. Previously, querying all customers from Liechtenstein would involve scanning the entire table to locate these 10 entries, which was extremely inefficient in terms of performance. To address this, we introduced native filtering, where the background operations are now streamlined into a standard SQL where clause. This approach is compatible with various data providers, including Object Data Provider, which translates through link queries. With the upcoming version 29, we are expanding this capability to JSON and XML files as well. This enhancement involves using the in-memory data provider wrapper, a new class that encapsulates the file into an in-memory database. Despite a certain memory footprint, this setup offers all the functionalities previously exclusive to SQL databases, such as filtering and sorting. Additional functionalities like drill downs will also be available. This can be applied to various data sources, including CSV files, enhancing the versatility of data management across different providers. Another intriguing aspect to note is the seemingly simple country field, which can actually encompass multiple fields, making the filtering process multidimensional. However, this complexity is completely abstracted from the end user. As a result, users aren't aware of the underlying complexities, they can intuitively input their queries as if they were dealing with straightforward equality conditions. This design allows for a user-friendly interface while handling intricate data interactions seamlessly. Once we confirm the settings, and search again, perhaps for Germany and France, and click OK, you can see how the parameter now functions as intended. At this point, you can select and even modify your choices, for example, you might decide you're more interested in Finland than in France. And you can update this preference by confirming with OK. This flexibility in modifying selections illustrates a limitation with the export function, where such dynamic adjustments aren't possible. This feature is particularly interesting because it allows you to drill down into your data and uncover details that might otherwise remain hidden. Such interactive capabilities in the overview enhance the user experience by facilitating deeper data exploration. We offer even more functionalities. For instance, we have a proper drill down feature where everything links to a parallel report. This enables you to place a comprehensive evaluation for a customer in the form of a dashboard, complete with cross stables, charts, and more. Additionally, you can place sorting controls above the header fields, allowing for interactive adjustments within the dashboard itself. These features provide ample opportunities for users to engage with the data. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Happy reporting!